this is Aiden's room okay just giving you like a little overview because we are redoing it there's toys in the corner there those wooden things are going to be hung up that's why they, they they're not there all the time some soft toys in that big box that says A some of his books there's some pictures on the wall a chalkboard and like a mess <laughs> also this credence is broken so I need to sort that out and yes he still has a nappy bun and a breastfeeding chair yeah life so we are going to that's his cupboard that is the wall I painted and we are going to redo this and give him a bit more of a big boy room let's see how it goes introducing the big boy room so what have we done a lot of the things that were here are still here because he loves them and what's the point of taking it away we did get him this which is a fire truck tent that he loves to sit in and he has thrown so much things in there that he loves to just sit in there and watch his tablet watch his play doh i made this the two of us me and eddie which is just like a little armament to protect his treasures his treasures oopsie is a rock collection then we've got his name his name is everywhere in this room then we've got this little book rack that I made just using an off cut or of a um I will insert the word once I remember it then I've used it for his books art set games got this thing that I made for him when he was born and I've got more books and things in there because he really does love books then we've got spider-man bedding because he really wanted some superhero thing what did I say about his name being everywhere guys you see that whale that whale is from Popsy Bell it is so awesome and cuddly and he loves it we also have a monster pillow from Popsy Bell which I think is in the entertainment room which is where most of his toys are because his room is not very big and I he likes the pillow so he's probably got it there this is a little night light that I got from Sheet Street. It was like 90 bucks. And it's LED and it's battery operated. So it's just next to his bed if he needs some extra light. Talking about night light. Ooh, he's got a Murphy bed. Which I painted the top. Darkened it. And then I added string lights. For like a spaceship effect. That is like his night light. This is kind of like a compacting thing <laughs> where I used to change his bum. Now, this is where he'll get dressed. I made this mirror using a pretty cheap basic mirror and gluing some kitty stories to it. Just wanted it to have a different feel. And yes, that is me in the mirror <laughs> there for a second. Um, this is like where he gets dressed and stuff. This is Boobaroo. He loves his Boobaroo, sorry. He really, really loves this healing balm. He believes it can like cure everything. So right on his table for all the nicks and scratches that is his underwear and scarves and hats and um those are just normal baskets that you can get at like mr price and i just sewed a different you know like um the bags that came with them i replaced them and then made this chalkboard wall it's been here for a while if you guys want a tutorial i do have pictures of how i did it so let me know this is a lounger from Kushtush. It is much bigger than it looks. Yeah, wait. Oh, that is how much how big this thing is. So what happened is this lounger. It's in front of the chalkboard for when he draws, but when we have Caleb over, acts as a second little bed. It acts as what it's supposed to be a lounger when he's watching tv this thing 
is so flippin' versatile. We love it, love it, love it. Look, now it's a big poof for you to read and you can fold it in many ways and it is awesome. I'm going to link all these suppliers down below because they are amazing. Kush Touche, Popsibel. Ooh, the letter lady. <laughs> Look what she made for us. We updated Aiden's cupboard doors with superheroes. These things are hand painted, guys. It's so, so beautiful. And she can hand paint pretty much anything. So I just give her a call and these are really pretty. It is in the description box. Then I made this. Not painted quite as pretty. It's just a um black piece of wood stuck together. And then I painted it. Thank you so much to Prominent Paints for giving me paint to do all these little thingies. Um, and then we use it for like little, you know, like the McDonald's toys and stuff, just because you don't really know what to do with them, but he really loves them. So this made a little cupboard for it. I didn't take this away. This is a gift that my cousin made for him. It is his baby clothes on his, f on his first birthday. She turned it into this really pretty artwork for his room. Oh, guys, this chair. In love, in love. Why is this chair so gorgeous? I'm really obsessed with it. He is not. He was like, hey, can we give it to Caleb as a birthday present? But I really love it. And it's one of those things where you like, I was in the shop and it was on special. And I was like, I don't got no money, but I want it. And it's gorgeous. Then we've got the trampoline in here. Because he's five. Well, four. And then we still have a little art wall, which is basically just pigs with washi tape that I have pressed it to the wall and that is where we hang all his favorite artworks so oh um we still have his chandelier paper chandelier thing from when he was a baby and we've got the glow in the dark stars which have been here forever it's along with this word laugh it's painting it at school these stars I made I'm pretty sure there was a tutorial on the blog if you are interested let me know and I will send you the link and oh his name again like his name is in this room so many times Aiden 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 wonder whose room this is I wonder whose room this is anyway I also have Logan's name in here it's just a little memento um, because this was gonna be Logan's room initially and when we took everything out, we just kind of left a little heart with his name on. And anyway, this is Aiden's room, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks so much for watching.